Hey, this is Kevin from Breakdance, and in this video, we're going to discuss how to create a columns element using divs within Breakdance. While the columns element itself has a lot of great features, you may find that you want to create more advanced layouts. In this example, what I'm going to do is recreate this columns element using a divs layout. To get started, I'm going to duplicate the columns element. Next, I'm going to add a div to the page and two other child divs. This is our basic columns layout, similar to our columns and column elements. Next, I'm going to drag the child elements from the columns element into the divs. With that set, I'm going to delete our second columns element. So we can now see that we have the columns element and the divs right below it. The next thing we're gonna do is organize this layout so that the divs match the columns. We'll go to the layout tab for our parent div, click the advanced option, choose flex, and set flex direction to row. Next, we're gonna add a gap of 60 pixels because that is what the columns element uses. Then on each of the divs, we're gonna open up the container and set the width to 50%. With this set, we now have the columns element and the divs element looking identical. We can then go down to our different breakpoints. And once we get to tablet portrait, we'll see that they look a little bit different. The columns element has everything in a vertical layout, whereas our div has everything in a horizontal layout. To change this, we'll just quickly go to our div, set the flex direction to column, and then we'll need to update each of the child divs to have a width of 100%. The last thing we'll need to do in this case is in our second div, we'll need to set the layout to be aligned in the center. With that set, we've now recreated the columns element using divs. We can also create more advanced layouts with the divs than we can with a column element. For example, let's say on the tablet landscape layout, I would like to have the image here a little bit smaller. In this case, I can just set the width to 35%. And in the first div, I can now set this to 65%. This allows us to have different widths for each of our columns based on our breakpoints. So the desktop is 50%, the tablet is now 65 and 35, and then we go back to the vertical layout for anything below that. This is just one quick example of how you can use divs to recreate column elements and even create more advanced layouts in Breakdance.